Okay. So this week, um, I was invited to go on uh, social media and host and, and influencer Funky, Miss Funky Deniba's uh, show. And they had posted the, pro- the promo for the show, like just the, the flyer for the show and asked um, the audience like what questions they would want to ask me. And so I was tagged in the post. So I opened the post and, you know, I was curious about what questions they would want to ask me once I saw that. And I was genuinely shocked at how nasty the comments were, um, how, uh, what's what I'm looking for, just how vitriolic they were. Like people were undermining my autism. People were, you know, suggesting that I'm just a liar in general. Like they were really just out for blood and were really encouraging Funky Deneva to come for me in that way. And it, I found myself responding to people in the comments, which is not what I want to be doing anymore. Uh, but in that moment, I said, look at how quickly this reverted you back from the trajectory where you are really ch- like challenging yourself to go in terms of your spiritual elevation, your self-protectiveness, et cetera. And I had a real crisis of conscience in that moment because it was only a few hours before the interview. And um, I didn't want to just be making a like, you know, something like an impulsive response. But I ended up going on Instagram Live while I thought through it. And I want to thank the people who really said, you know, just listen to your gut, because sometimes that really is such a hard thing to do because the social the social thing that we have to do in terms of civility, right, and responsibility, et cetera, can, can conflict sometimes. And this was one of those things where it's like, well, I don't want to inconvenience someone. I know how much production can get thrown off when a person is supposed to be a guest and they don't come on last minute. So I definitely understand that. Thankfully, I was able to get on the phone with Funky Geneva and um, they were just so, he was so uh, respectful and uh, completely understanding of my point of view. And my point of view was, this just doesn't feel like a safe space. And it's not just because of, it's not like necessarily him, but the space is not just the host, particularly on this internet. The, haste, the, the space is also curated by the people who are supporting that host's work and who are, you know, um, the patrons, not just the patrons, but the audience members. And people are like, well, why would you cancel if you went on Shay Shay? It's like, well, I made a mistake going on the Shannon Sharp show and thinking that it was going to be a safe space. Um, I was told that it would be a safe space. And so I went. And that is a lesson that I learned. Like if, if there are indicators ahead of time that make me feel like it could possibly not be a safe space, then perhaps it's just not for me to go. And also when it comes to like the whole divesting from celebrity thing, it's like, how many times am I going to be interviewed? What am I being interviewed about? <laughs> At this point, it feels like I'm being interviewed about me. You know, like the interview feels like more so it's a, um, and I'm not even saying that this is where Funky Deneva would have been coming from, but I think that there is something to be said where people are really just trying to interview me, not to learn me, but to see, if, you know, is she really this or is she really that, et cetera, when there's just so many more impactful things to be talking about that I can sit down and talk about. So I think it's really um, important to protect your peace. And I want to thank everybody who, when I did make this announcement on my page, really encouraged me to protect my peace and self-preservation and you know, again, those are there's a people on there who are like, no, you shouldn't cancel last minute. Like, you should reconsider, et cetera. Listen, when people are thoughtful about their space, when people are thoughtful about what is going to serve them, we have hum- we as humans need to be respectful of that. <laughs> like, and I really, I really appreciate Monkey Deneva respecting that and also sharing with his audience that because it really sets a standard. And I think it was important to note, yeah, I didn't come on here because of these people. And when people act like their comments and how they behave on this online thing doesn't matter, it does. It affects people in a real way. So, you know, protect your peace, y'all. It's really all you got. We'll be right back to the Amanda Seals Show. We up, we up. 